Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error. When we last left the bathroom project here, I had just started tiling these shower niches, so we're going to pick right up where we left off there. And uh, with any luck, we will have this shower itself, the shower area portion of the bathroom, all finished off at the end of this video. It's just taken so much time and so much effort due to the complexity of the space, the angles, and then all of the crap that I'm trying to pack into this area with the sound system and TV and water jets and it's just a lot in a small area so I appreciate your patience as much as I appreciate my wife's patience as I've been chipping away at this thing but uh, with that said uh, let's get on to the video Man, I knew these shower niches were going to be the death of me, and they almost were, but I'll tell you what I did for the five different uh, niches. I cut all of the top, bottom, left and right side pieces identical so that I knew all five would be the same. I didn't try to fit them into the hole. I just made myself you know, five identical sets. And I did the same thing with the bull nose that is on the very face of it that, that sticks out. I cut all of those the same with 45 degree mitered joints. And I talk about tedious, it was just brutal, but it was worth all of the effort in the end because it just, it came out beautiful. Oh, could have just made it real easy on myself and just did a normal tile back there, but I decided to cut in a little tile inlay with the accent tiles. I mean, it looks beautiful, but it took <laughs> it took longer than I thought it was gonna take to, uh, to get that and all the bull nose in there nice, but really does look nice. Um, off now on to tiling around the TV and it's a little bit of a trick because if you remember back a few video episodes ago we made this frame actually I can show you right here so uh, the plexiglass is a quarter inch and I want to use that quarter inch basically to make up for the tile width so that that plexiglass can sit inside of here so that my trim around the frame sits flush against the face of the tile so it's just taking a lot of measurements just to get this right because if you cut it too much then it'll obviously show will be on the frame if you don't cut it big enough then the uh, plexiglass doesn't have a place to go so um, yeah a bit of a pain and also then I have to make sure that my frame is lining up with the TV itself so just one of those little things that is you know just a pain in the royal ass to get right but just uh, one tile at a time here. We're getting there. So I fast forward you all through the uh, monotonous parts of just putting up basic tile, but did want to touch on a couple of things here. Um, if you've ever worried about or been concerned if you've got a vertical section or a semi-vertical or a ceiling that needs to be tiled, there's no extra steps you need to take. Um, you know, just a good tile adhesive is all you need. Uh, press it in there just like you would a wall tile or a floor tile. and. You don't need to do anything else, nothing tricky. So we're just gonna finish up here. I got a couple left to do. I've left myself a little bit of a lip here because we're gonna be putting some of this nice marble bullnose in here as well. And uh, from this, we're gonna transition with another uh, 90 degree corner section, similar to what you see here, actually identical to what you see there. And then we'll go into tiling here, right up to the skylight. So I think that'll look pretty nice. Well, sometimes the best way to get funky angles like this is just to mirror up your piece and drag a line. And then it's very easy to line up a new straight edge to 
come down and catch the corner and you just keep that gap the same. It takes all the thinking out of it, which for me is really important. See, so I just kind of matched that gap, but carried it out to the edge. So when I cut this, we'll have a perfect fit. I didn't get the perfect cut that I was hoping for on that. So we'll see how it goes. That's probably gonna be close enough, actually. That looks pretty damn good. All right, cool. So this double-sided tape is really just the temporary hold. I'm going to uh, silicone seal all the way around this, but this uh, double-sided tape will just hold it in place while that silicone is drying. And we'll just give this one last wipe and I'm ready to put it in. Now I'll come back and I'll pump silicone in all the way around so that way we get a nice seal and we can hose this TV down and nothing bad will happen. So we can officially check off the shower off the list of to-dos with the exception of just this leading edge of tile here. Um, I don't have enough of the uh, trim that I used around the rest of the bathroom here. But at any rate, the shower is done. Everything works, nothing leaks. Um, the only thing that's left is I have to paint the ceiling and patch in these holes here. I'm always good at uh, painting the ceiling, but um, you know, nooks here came out just beautiful. I, I, I mean, I may be a little biased here, but to me, this is the prettiest shower cub combo thing I have ever had the privilege of seeing. But, um, you know, something I'm really proud of. So uh, I love the, having the skylight in here is just a real cool thing. And then being able to sit down and fire up the jacuzzi with the waterproof floating remote here and watch TV is uh, with great sound. It's just, it's, it's awesome. I mean, your head is basically, it's like wearing a set of headphones, um, but, uh, yeah, man, I am so excited for this thing. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how it, how it came out. And uh, now we're just onto some finishing details, some trim work. I'm building a, uh, another uh, inset little storage area here, uh, but we'll uh, get the toilet in place. We'll get the sink. We got a double sink going in here with the vanity, finish up the rest of that trim, like I said, and uh, yeah, we're just about there. So. 
Thanks for hanging in there with me. I know it's been a long project, but we are in the home stretch now, and I hope you guys like this as much as I do. Um, like I said, I'm really proud of how this came out, and I am not a good you know, master tiler or plumber or any of these things, so it took me a long time, but man, um, I'll be uh, very happy to use this for the many years to come. So, as always, everybody, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and or criticisms, throw them down in the comment section below me. Otherwise, everybody, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.